of a racket coming from your way last night, Brown. Hello, Mr. Curry. I'm sorry if we disturbed you. Good morning. Don't believe I've had the pleasure. Mr. Curry, this is Paddington. He's a bear. I can see that. You must be a long way from home. I'm from darkest Peru. Oh. Don't worry, Mr. Curry. He's going. Just as well. Don't want to be kept up by any of your loud jungle music. Don't tell anyone at school about Paddington. Why not? Because everyone thinks we're weird enough without the bear. I do like these French sandwiches, Mrs. Bird. Very exotic. Can I help you, son? Just a sec. You've been in there for 47 minutes. Either a very long call or you're placing unauthorized advertising material in a public telephone box. I'm terribly sorry. Hello. Is it me you're looking for? I can see. No problem, madam. Many apologies if I disturbed you. It's just a. I keep an eye on all the comings and goings, and there's been a few unsavoury characters hanging around. Come on. Let's get this over and done with. Leaving me a bear, the most unpleasant creature. As a matter of fact, that bear is the reason I am here. You have a beautiful home, Mr. Curry. I've lived here all my life. I inherited it from my mother, a very distant woman. And being such a pillar of the community, I can see why having that beast move in next door would upset you, so. I suppose I should be grateful that it's only one bear. Oh, but it always starts with just one, Mr. Curry. Soon the whole street will be crawling with them. Drains clogged with fur, buns thrown at old ladies, raucous all-night picnics. What can we do? I have certain if I can get hold of the bear, I can see that he's sent where he belongs, no questions asked. Really? But I can't do it alone. I, I need a strong, capable man to help me. Me? Oh, now. It's just if I start hanging around, people will ask questions. But you, you could keep an eye on him, couldn't you? For me? Of course. Perfect. So you do that. As soon as he's alone, we'll pounce. <laughs> Missionary. Honeypot! 
I really feel at home in Windsor Gardens. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Good morning, Buddington. I brought you breakfast. Thank you. Your sandwiches always put me in a good mood. Morning, Dr. Jeffrey. You haven't forgotten your keys, have you? Keys? Keys. Oh, oh, oh. Well caught. Thank you, Puddington. You're welcome. Glorious day, Colonel. Is it? How absolutely thrilling. How was your date, Miss Kids? Well, he wasn't the one, but you know what they say. Pretty puppy, said the say. Exactly. Thank you. Morning, Paddington. Morning, Mr. Barnes. Bye, Paddington. Au revoir, mademoiselle. Right. Test me. What's the quickest way from Baker Street to Big Ben? Ah, an easy one. Turn right onto Portman Square. Let Everyone has been so kind and welcoming even though they're very busy. Sure, Colonel. They're awfully dirty. I don't care, and I'm not paying. Perhaps I'll do them anyway. Hello, Colonel. You're where? There's a bear on your roof. Yes. He seems to be cleaning my windows. Shall I do your gutters while I'm up here? Uh, yes. Uh, thank you. Well, of course, it's not for me to say, Colonel, but I wouldn't care to have an undesirable crawling all over my premises. And as commander of your community defence force... Is that an official position, Mr Curry? Or have you just bought yourself a yellow coat? Got my eye on you, bear! Sorry. Paddington! Oh, no! What's hold going it, on? hold it there. Hang on, hang on. We're taking him into custody. Oh, please, there must be some mistake. No mistake, well, what's sir. What's happened? Caught red-handed. 
Robin Gruber's antiques. Well, well, well. The truth is out. We opened our hearts to that bear. We opened our doors. Well, you did. I kept my triple locked in accordance with the guidelines. And all along, it was robbing you blind. Paddington! Oh, no! Paddington! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, Here goes Paddington. Manners. Morning. Good morning. How would you like to start a gardening club? How'd you like to be buried in a very deep hole? After you. Spooner R. Workshop. Brown P. Laundry duty. Where are you going? I'm so sorry. 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 I get grumpy when I haven't had breakfast. Keys, keys, keys. Bottoms. You can't park here. I'm not parked. I'm doing the bins. You're not doing the bins, sunshine. You're studying on council time. I'm going to report you in your hat. Oh. Morning, Miss Kitts, Colonel. Oh, morning, Mrs. Brown. Chibi asked me to drop these off to you. Propaganda! You are wasting your time trying to peddle that rubbish. Everyone round here knows it was your bear that done it. And this street is a far, far better place without him. What? <coughs> oh, it's that mangy dog! You are going to the pound, my son! Park it without a license in a built-up area! Give him here, Mary. I have to sell them under the counter for obvious reasons, but people are buying them. Really? It's a blooming good read. Hmm? Made a few people around here think twice about your young bear. You just need to find that thief. Oh, we're trying. <laughs> Don't suppose you know where he is, do you, Feathers? He's behind you! Sorry, what? Cooey! Mary? Oh, hello, Phoenix. Why don't you come on in? I want to hear all about the investigation, yeah? Mysterious things have been happening all over town. Oh, yes? Strange characters turning up at every landmark in that box. Are they? I don't know. Perhaps it's just a coincidence. Henry says I let my imagination get the better of me. Well, you're an artist, Mary, like me. Our imaginations run free like bison upon the plain. But can I just say, in this particular case, I think dear old Henry might have a point. Do you? But I do have a little bit of good news that might turn your frown upside down. Oh, yes? It looks, fingers, 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 as though the funding may be coming through for my one-man show. Oh, right. It's an evening of monologue and song featuring some of my better-known characters. Would you like a little preview? Um... Picture this scene. Darkness, then suddenly, spotlight. Me. Bing! Listen to the rain on the roof. Go pit, pity pat, pit, pity pat, sit. Oh, Mary, you look sad. You don't like musicals? No, 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 no. I suppose it just... Seems so unfair at Paddington's in prison, and yet life carries on. Oh, I know. It must be so hard to accept that he won. That man with the dazzling blue eyes. Mm. <sighs> I beg your pardon. The man in the poster, your wonderful drawing. Yes, but how do you know he had blue eyes? Hmm? It's just a pencil sketch. Oh. Well, then I must have coloured him in. <laughs> Barkridge's, no less. Lucky, lucky phoenix. Ooh. Uh, uh. Hello. Phoenix. Felicity. What a lovely surprise. I was beginning to think you'd lost my number. I've got two minutes, so we'd better make it snappy. OK. We're having lunch with a big Broadway producer. Well, wonderful news. Yes, yes. Where does one go? The Ritz, darling. I am on my way. Nice buns, by the way. I beg your pardon? Really nice buns. Thank you, darling. I've never had any complaints about 
Mr. and Mrs. Botticheek. Yes. Gloves, keys, and exit. Mary? Where all your dreams come true. Insane. I know it's Phoenix. I'm going to prove it. This is breaking and entering. We haven't broken anything. Why would Phoenix want to steal a pop-up book? He's a millionaire. That's why you're wrong. He owes money all over town. Look. So he's got a few bills. I mean, everyone. Good grief! The man spends a lot on face cream. He hasn't put a penny to his name. Now come on. Let's find that book. Unless there's nothing to find. Now, can we please go? Oh, look, Henry. What? The carpet. Yes, it's lovely. I'll order a swatch. Give me a leg up. Oh, um... quick, 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 quick. quick. Attic. Every house in the street has one. I mean, look, it's just a perfectly normal. Oh my God, he's a weirdo. Look, Henry, the nun, the thief, the king. We were right. Sorry, we? Well, well, I mean, I, I never. <gasps> Quick, get down, get down. Quite frankly, rubbish. Hello? Who goes there? Reveal yourself. Henry? Hello, Phoenix. What on earth are you doing here? I might ask you the same thing. Well, I live here. It's my house. And I? Insure it. And for our Platinum Club members, we perform an annual free home inspection to verify your security arrangements. In your pajamas? Mm-hmm. With your wife? Oh, that all seems pretty secure. Oh, hello, Phoenix. Mary. <laughs> Didn't hear you come in. <laughs> she helps out when we're busy. Oh, well, that sounds entirely plausible. Does it? Great. Well, I'm delighted to say that everything seems tickety-boo. Wonderful. <laughs> so, I'll knit back to the office and get the boys to type that up ASAP. <laughs> and we'll hope to see you soon. Indeed. Perhaps next time, not in your pyjamas. He's <laughs> 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 such a silly one. Ciao now. <laughs> Fellow citizens, I've just received intelligence. The bear has escaped and may be heading this way. I've raised the neighbourhood panic level to wild hysteria. Get out of the way, Mr Curry. Paddington's not coming this way. He's going to clear his name. And we're going to bring him home. We don't want him here. No, of course you don't. You never have. As soon as you set eyes on that bear, you made up your mind about him. Well, Paddington's not like that. He looks for the good in all of us, and somehow he finds it. It's why he makes friends wherever he goes. And it's why Windsor Gardens is a happier place whenever he's around. He wouldn't hesitate if any of us needed help. So stand aside, Mr. Curry, because we're coming through. Like your vehicle. Try to choke. Go on. Try to choke. You're flooding it. Clutch down. Second gear, Mr. Brown. What? What are you doing? After three. What's going on? Three. You Two. are illegally perambulating on a public highway. What are you 
Push your backs into it. Oh. Do not push that vehicle. Bring Buddington home. Thank you. <laughs> Paddington. Where am I? Take it easy now. You gave us a wee scare. But you're home now. Home? That's right. Look. The police realize they made a terrible mistake. Phoenix Buchanan has been arrested. And, I might add, is no longer a member of our Platinum Club. Then... You're a free bear. How long have I been asleep? Three days. Three days? But that means... It's Aunt Lucy's birthday. And I never sent her anything. It's all right, Paddington. But it isn't all right, Mrs. Brown. You see, Aunt Lucy did so much for me when I was a cub. Without her, I'd never have come to London. And I suppose all I ever really wanted was to make her proud. But now she's going to wake up on her birthday with no present and think I've let her down completely. Oh, you great goose. She won't think that at all. Won't she? Come with us. <laughs> what are you all doing here? We wanted to say thank you. Thank you? For everything you've done for us. Yeah. Yeah. If it wasn't for you, we'd never have met. You helped me pass my exam. No, I would be permanently locked out of my house. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say you've rather a lot to be proud of. Yes. 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 And when we heard that the police wanted the popping book for evidence, we thought we'd find Aunt Lucy another present. So we all clubbed together. I pulled in a few favours from my old Air Force chums. And we think she's going to love it. <laughs> but what is it? You wanted to get that book so Aunt Lucy could see London, didn't you? It was always her dream. Well, we thought, why look at London in a book when she could see the real thing? Why don't you go and answer that? Oh. <gasps> 